In today's video, I'm going to bring you guys a list of the top games coming out in the month of February of 2022. If you end up enjoying videos like this, let me know below in the comments and I'll be sure to continue to do them. As always, if you want to support the channel, consider purchasing your games on the GOG store using my affiliate link below. Let's jump right in. We are the wind on the sea. We are the wave on the sea. We are the sun that rises over the mountains. First up is a single-player party-based fantasy RPG by the name of The Waylanders. This game will be coming out on February 2nd on PC and will be sold on the GOG and Steam stores. The first game that comes to mind if we had to make a quick comparison would be the Dragon Age games, because as you can see the combat design looks fairly similar. Over on the Steam page, the devs even say that their game was inspired by classics such as Dragon Age Origins, Neverwinter Nights, and Baldur's Gate. In The Waylanders, you'll be controlling a party of five and engaging in real-time combat with tactical pause options. When creating your character, you can choose from six basic classes, Guardian, Warrior, Ranger, Rogue, Sorcerer, and Healer, and then further specialize into one of 30 advanced classes. There will be five playable races to choose from, some of which are quite rare and unique for playable races in an RPG. Humans, Goblins, Werewolves, Morians, which remind me of Dwarves, and the Fomorians, which are monstrous immortal giants. There will be nine companions that you meet in your travels, and like the Dragon Age games, you'll have opportunities to learn about their backstories, befriend them, and even bring them back to the tent for a little coconut oil massage. The unique aspect about this game's setting is that there are two. You'll be time traveling between the Celtic and medieval eras, and exploring more than 50 regions filled with quests, secrets, and of course, mighty enemies. And the last thing I want to mention is that there will be multiple endings, as the choices you make in one time period can have dire future consequences. Now listen, Steve, don't try to warn anyone I'm here. Rainer said you were a pilgrim. Good your business. You think your barking will make an impression on me? Next up, we have a multiplayer action adventure survival first person zombie game called Dying Light 2 Stay Human. This game will be releasing on February 4th for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, and it should also eventually be coming out on the Nintendo Switch. Dying Light 2 can be played in single player, but it also features 2-4 player co-op gameplay, where you can host your own game or join others and see how their choices have played out differently than yours. Players will have a vast open world to explore in a place called The City, which is one of the last human settlements, but it's currently on the brink of collapse. The virus has won and civilization has fallen back to the dark age. oh shit. And you're going to have to use your parkour skills, clever thinking, traps, and creative weapons to attempt to survive. There will be a day and night cycle, and at night things of course start to get a little crazy, but nighttime also offers opportunities to explore the lairs of the creatures that are out hunting you. There will be a main quest that will take players around 20 hours or so to complete, Plenty of side quests that could bring players to the 70 to 80 hour marks. And for players looking to complete everything that the game offers, you're looking at hundreds and hundreds of hours of content. The developers said, and I quote, to fully complete Dying Light 2 Stay Human, you'll need at least 500 hours. Beyond Reichland, Ostermark, and the reach of the Empire stands a frozen bulwark. Third on the list is none other than the mighty fantasy RTS game Total War Warhammer 3. This game will be coming out on February 17th for Microsoft Windows, Mac, and Linux. And I should also mention that it will be available through PC Game Pass right away on day one. That's basically the PC equivalent of Xbox Game Pass. Warhammer 3 will be the cataclysmic conclusion to the Total War Warhammer trilogy. And you will of course be rallying your forces and stepping into the realm of chaos. This game can be played single player, online co-op, and it also has online PvP. It is said that there's going to be more factions than ever before, a host of new game modes, new locations, and new methods of war. There will be a captivating narrative that can be tackled in different ways with different factions, which helps ensure that no two campaigns will ever be the same. Be prepared to command legions, slay your enemies, and wreak havoc in the names of the ruinous powers. 
As someone who has never played a Warhammer game before, and yes, I am ashamed of myself, honestly, this one has me quite interested. The land is dying, and the machines are out of control. Unfortunately, the next game is a PlayStation launch exclusive. I really wish it was launching on PC as well, because I know that's what most of you on my channel play your games on. Horizon Forbidden West is an action RPG that is a sequel to Horizon Zero Dawn, and it's releasing on the PS5 and PS4 on February 18th. The first game, Horizon Zero Dawn, was also launched as a PlayStation exclusive, but it did eventually make its way to PC, so I would imagine that Forbidden West will do the same with time. In this game, you'll continue Aloy's story as she moves west in a far future America to uncover the cause of a strange crimson blight which is killing off plants, animals, and tribes. This majestic but dangerous frontier is filled with technologically advanced robots that have become the Earth's dominant species. Aloy will still have her trusty spear and bow, but this time around you can expect plenty of new tools to use at your disposal. There will be a skill tree and also workbenches to upgrade your weapons and outfits by unlocking new perks, mod slots, and skills. It happened an age ago. But when I recall, I see it true. And last on this list, but certainly not least, is the highly anticipated action RPG developed by From Software, who collaborated with none other than George R.R. R. Martin from Game of Thrones, and this game is Elden Ring. Elden Ring releases on February 25th for PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. Elden Ring is a single player and multiplayer game which will allow up to four player co-op, and it will also feature PvP. If you are planning on playing this game with some friends but have not played a Souls game before, meaning you're not familiar with how the co-op systems typically work, be sure to do some research first because it's not as simple as just meeting up in a lobby. I will mention though that apparently From Software has made it much easier to join up with friends this time around than compared to the previous Souls titles. The reason why this is one of the most hyped games of 2022 is because any game that From Software makes always turns out to be really damn Damn good. Their three most recent releases were Sekiro, Dark Souls 3, and Bloodborne, all of which were highly successful games. Elden Ring will of course be an extremely difficult game, and this is what the Souls games are known for, so it won't be for the faint of heart. This time around though, for the first time ever, From Software has given us a truly open world to explore, and we'll be able to do much of our exploration and even combat on the back of a spirit steed. In character creation, there will be five starting classes to choose from, the Warrior, Enchanted Knight, Prophet, Champion, and the Blood Wolf. These are just starting classes though, and as you progress, you can freely change your build and weapons to a preferred playstyle. There will be six main zones filled with underground dungeons, countless bosses, and of course plenty of secrets to be found. Be on the lookout for Elden Ring for the game of the year, and at the very least it will win several categories, that's basically a guarantee. Thank you guys so much for watching, and if this is a type of video that you think I should start doing monthly, then let me know below and I will continue to do it. It's pretty easy for me to do compared to most other videos, it doesn't take as much time, which is kind of nice for a change. Feel free to join the community discord server, link for that will be below in the video description. And also, like I said before, if you want to support the channel, consider purchasing your games on the GOG store, but clicking on my link below first, after you click on that link, any game that you purchase within seven days on the GOG store will support the channel. I'll catch you guys on the next one.